how you doing so today a couple of bowls here of this lovely stew i've got pork in there vegetables tomato based what i'm doing is using up stuff that i have in the fridge i'm not cooking at the regular kitchen i'm in the uk at the moment staying in a fantastic airbnb and uh, yeah this is the last day so just using up everything that we have nice pork easy stew anything goes welcome back to how to cook great so probably best that you use a large pot or something like that, but I'm using this rock, as I said, just at the beginning, I'm on the road at the moment, so I'm standing in an Airbnb using what they have, so not at the usual kitchen. Okay, so big wok or pan. I've got some olive oil in there and I've got here some pork. I'm using a pork loin. So it's a nice, you know, nice cut, a little bit of fat on it. And we're gonna drop that in. There is 400 grams of pork. And you can see I've cut it in a fairly kind of chunky pieces. But right, we're gonna go for about four to five minutes on an above medium heat. So I've got a nice little bit of color on there. We're now gonna add in one onion, chunky cut, so I'm using a white one. And we're gonna go again for about another three or four minutes. Fabulous. Gonna drop in now some garlic, really sort of chunky cut. It's about three or four cloves there. And got a couple of chunky cut potatoes. Another three minutes. So if you've got some carrots or celery or something like that, you want to be getting that in now. We're just going to be starting to add veg. I'm, I'm leaving this place to, uh, tomorrow morning, so using up all the veg that I have. So we're going to go with some green beans. I'm then going to add some salt. black pepper. I've got some dried oregano. Gonna go like a teaspoon or two teaspoons. And I've got some smoked paprika. Again, gonna go like two teaspoons of that, really delicious. But think about, you know, thyme, basil, chili, if you want, you know, something like that. Okay, another three minutes. Keeping it moving. This is gonna be fantastic. Next up, I'm gonna add a couple of cans of tomatoes. Regular size, meaning 400 ml, you know, that kind of regular size. These are whole plum tomatoes, as you can see. And I'm just gonna take a knife and just really roughly chop them. We're going to stay on this above medium heat, so it's fairly lively, as you can hear. And it will be more lively with me because I'm using a very thin wok. You're using a kind of bigger type, you know, thicker pan. Won't be so vibrant. But that's what I've got, that's what I'm using. Okay. Let those tomatoes go for about five minutes. Give it a stir every now and then. We've still got more veg to go in here. It's gonna be fantastic. That's looking great. Now, this is the reason I needed the big wok because we've got three more vegetables to go in here. I've got some bell peppers, some broccoli, and some zucchini or courgette, whatever you call that. Before they go in, we need some more liquid in there, so I'm gonna add some water. If you want, you could get some red wine in there, white wine in there, if you want, something like that, or maybe a stock cube or something, or some stock. So that's a pint of water that I've put in. It's just a little mix. And then, here we go. We're gonna go bell peppers. Broccoli, 
I'll leave all the um, amounts below in the text and then some zucchini or courgette cut them you know into rounds like that cut them how you like so you can see that's why I needed this big pot I'm gonna mix this in we're gonna stay on this above medium heat for about five minutes then I'm gonna drop it down and let it go for maybe another five or six minutes give it a stir every now and then check your potatoes that's what you want if your potatoes are done everything else is done I'll see you then and just as that uh, little stew we're making that leftover stew is going you can see it is absolutely piddling down it's been on and off all day I suppose that's England for you, isn't it? We're in uh, May now, isn't it? We're in May. But yeah, sunshine, then rain, thunderstorms, then rain, then rain, then rain. Okay, look, off goes the heat. Just check the potatoes, they're nice and soft. You can see this re reduced down. And we've got ourselves a lovely stew for tonight to eat with some nice crusty bread. I've got a sort of baguette here or something like that. In the rain, well, not in the rain, but while it's raining. It's been going on and off all day, the rain, sunshine, rain, 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 thunder. Anyway, beautiful, that's it. All right, so it's just stopped raining again. We're out in the garden. Two lovely big bowls of steaming hot stew there. One for me and one for my mate Simon, who's been jo joining me on this whole trip that I've been on. It's been fabulous. So that's it for me from England, I think. I think, um, yeah, I won't be cooking before I go back. A couple more days heading back to London tomorrow. Then I'm back to the sand pit.